evening, Thank everybody. It's night. Saturday, September 15, 2012. We're here at Smith Vocational Falcons High School as we watch the Northampton Blue Devils seniors take on the Wilbraham Falcons seniors. Reminder to the head on last the of our triple booth. header games today. I'm Andrew Shelfo, joined up here atop the booth by Rob Osberg. How are you, Rob? Fantastic. It's a fantastic day for football. It's a blustery day. So far, so good for the Blue Devils. We uh, were able to take down the Falcons in our junior game. Unfortunately for the Pee Wees, they didn't have the same success. We're looking at this is the uh, rubber match of today's triple header. And we're getting ready. Ian Osberg is getting ready to kick off. Checking right, checking left. And that blustery day no, blustered the ball Coach, off the tee. Send somebody over with a roster, so and we call that the, the anti-mosquito wind uh, we that we're welcoming here, here tonight. The Wilbraham players. Thank you. Fortunately, this game didn't get called due to the West Nile threat. Osprey nice kick. kick. It's going to handled well by the Falcons. Ooh, nice. Runs right Dick. into Bert, Tim Bernice. Number 15. Wraps him up nicely. On the kick return. Bernice the bangs him line. down. Turned by number 33 of Wilbraham. Blue Devil seniors are 2-0 and coming into this game. And I believe, Rob, have they been scored upon yet this year? Uh, so far, so good for the uh, this Wilbraham squad. Our defense has managed line. to shut out our first two opponents. That would be the green, the team from Greenfield and, uh, and our opponents from Belchertown. Well, they're up there. Uh, I understand that this is the... The scattering report has has Wilbraham the, uh, the 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 top team in the division. So, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. Here they yep. come out in a throwing formation. Two receivers right, one receiver ref. The quarterback looking for someone to throw to. Passing complete for Wilbraham. He, it was. Uh, I think one. that might have been tipped there. His arm might have been tipped by. I'm trying to catch a number here. That was number 23, Griffin Shaw, who got in there. Well, he was thrown right into the wind too, which made things very wind, challenging. But now, what was uh, he showed a lot of poise in that in that. Now this pocket. is not unlike what you see from Wilbraham High School, but there's well, a there's the a bad boys. snap. Snap, snap gets by him. Did Burnish get in the wall? Did Burnish did Burnish recover Let's it? See who's got it? Yes, he yeah, did. That's Blue Burnish, number 15. <laughs> Burnish does a good job of just fighting for that ball. From up here, it looked like he didn't have it at first. I think he got it. For for the high school football fans out there, you'll uh, you'll see Wilbraham in a. Uh, Passing offense in their high school, and this is where they learn it. Their uh, their senior squad started great in that shotgun offense. Unfortunately, it's a high risk offense. We saw the risk, bad snap. Hamp takes over first and ten on the Wilbraham 22 yard line. Yeah, I think it was a combination of a bad snap, and I think the quarterback just took his eyes off the ball for a second. First and ten here. At any Hampton. rate, the offense for the Blue Devils is taking over. There's some movement there on the right hand side. Looked like field. some motion. Offsides. Call, call offsides, but we've been fooled by that. They call it the be going that against Wilbraham. We've been fooled by that before. We offsides get fooled by a lot of things out here. We're not always sure what the call is. We certainly never know the time, and sometimes we don't even know the score. And I'm, and I'm just going to say this now because I know it's going to get darker as the game goes on. And I caught our broadcast of the, well, I think it was the Belchertown game earlier this year. On television, it looks a lot brighter than it does up here. It's going to get hard to see. Osberg up under center. He's got a wishbone formation behind him. Calls out the signals. Takes the snap. There's Channel. the handoff. Channel looking right, looking for some room. Doesn't find it. Nine, Matthew Channel. You know what we see initially here, or at least what I see. I don't want to speak for you. There's some speed there in the in, on the defense of Wilbraham. Yeah, they do have some speed, and you know one of the things that uh, I notice about Matt Channel, he's a he's a evasive runner, but. Uh, he tends to sometimes slow down right at the point of contact, which is unusual because in defense he accelerates through every one of his hits on defense. If he can finish his runs on offense in the same way he finishes his tackle on defense, I think he'd have a little more success. Davis. Davis. What a beast. Off the left -hand side. Oh. He has the first down and more. He takes it down to about the four-yard line. Now there's, there's a run, he, Elijah runs to punish. He runs to evade, but he runs to punish. There was no hesitation at all. There. None. With that hole that None. Line open up there on the left hand side. Elijah just powered right through it. And I'm not sure if he's looking for the green of the open space or the green of those tacklers to take on. Just a lot of enthusiasm on that run. First and five. Osper takes the snap. Davis, he's going to score. Davis up the middle. I think he, he is going to score. He score. did. Touchdown. Touchdown. Number 21, Elijah Davis with the carry. 6 0 Blue Devils. That was an impressive opening drive. It sure was. You know, Super, super job by that offensive line. Super job by Elijah Davis. 
good timing, good coordination. Coach Levins has to be pleased with the start. It's big Jose Reyes coming off the field. Good push there for the. Yeah, that was a you the know super line. job by number absolutely super job by 68. Point here. Osberg up under center. He's going to keep it himself. Oh, he's got Levins. To his left. Got nice throw. Touchdown. Big Jared Levins with the, with the grab. Nice play. You know, the, the defender for the Falcons was in good position there, but Jared's got the long arms. Just yeah, right over him, you know, the ball. he's about 6'1", and when he jumps, he gets up to about 6'4". Osberg just throws it up there, allows well, Levins you know, to make the play. Up, he, he put it in the spot where only Jared was going to get it. Did a good job there. Nice job. Great job by that uh, Blue Devil offensive line. I wanted to give a call out to you. Number 68, Greg Ashevitz, who did a real nice job. Chris snaps and exploded off the uh, line of scrimmage. Really blew open some holes. These are 7th and 8th graders. And uh, Greg Ashevitz, I think, is a 7th grader. Nice job That's against correct. you. Know. 7th grader. He plays like an 8th grader, though. Osberg with the kick. Good kick. Fielded cleanly. Falcons set up. Ooh, he gets to the corner. There's Elijah. Quickly. <laughs> Elijah Davis is not going to let him go any further. Elijah Davis. Down at the 35-yard line. By the sidelines there. Uh, what were you saying before about the punishment that Elijah Davis likes you to know, when he's just, running? You know, it's just the guy's unbelievable. Well, you know, he reminds me of Hamp has a guy who's playing for the uh, for the high school team right now who, who was a lot like that when he was in the youth football so the program. This kid by the name of Nate Bones who used to just bone players. That's Elijah Davis. It's the same thing. He just loves the contact. I tell you, these uh, hamp corners are going to get a lot of. A lot of I like this. I want to say this offense is going to be some fun. So that time, the quarterback for the Falcons took the snap and he just threw it over the head of the receiver. Could be the wind there. It could be the fierce rush of the Blue Devils. Yeah, I think so. You know that it was windier earlier. The wind has kind of died down a little bit. Uh oh, that means the mosquitoes are coming. It sure does, and that's number seventy, Ethan Gorman, coming into the game. He is a very fast offensive lineman. This time, oh. handoff right, looking right. That's riding Braden on the uh, pursuit. That's a, nice that's a speedy little there. running back. There. Broke a couple He's tackles. Finally there. brought down. By uh, number 11, Osberg, and number Osberg. 70, Gorman. So that was Gorman Gainer. coming from the right Gainer. tackle Gainer. position and Ian Osberg coming from the right corner position all the way across the field. Ryan Brayton looked like he had the right angle on him, and that guy showed some speed. And, showed some speed. You know yeah. what else? I think he's the shortest player on the field. He just kind of hit behind hit. his line. Yeah, he did. First and ten now Quarterback in the shotgun. Every snap is in the shotgun. Takes a snap, looking to pass. Pulls it down, and you know what? Oh, man, crunch. Ran out of time. Levins finished it off. Was Levins in there, Davis in there. Who else was in there? 33. That was Levins coming out of that middle linebacker position. He's taken for a big loss. Who is, that, who is that middle linebacker for uh, for the Raiders? This reminds me of Jared Levins. He was about 6'7", playing middle linebacker back in the 70s. No, that was uh, Jack Tatum was a. Oh, that was a good block on Davis there. Oh, nice play by Hank Higgins. Higgins Henry was Higgins. Not going to let him go. So on that play, we've been talking, we've been calling Davis Davis's name a lot, justifiably. But number four for the Falcons there stood him up on a block. And Davis has got to be a foot taller than he is. Going here, the running game, but his defense is right back. That brings up third and let's see. Let me get out my abacus. Third and nineteen here for the Falcons. They have some stout players on the Falcons line, number 68 in particular. Yeah, you know, if, if, if folks are looking looking right at uh, in, uh, Kesson over there, Jasper Kesson on the right side. He's he's alone out there, and they're going to run his way, so he's got to make a play. Kesson's got to make a play. Back there. He's got room. He's got room. He, he could be gone. That's the channel. Ooh. One guy with a chance. He is gone. Where has he been? That's the first what play I've seen him out there on the field. Him. Number 32. Well, I think we all learned a lesson in that play. That guy can fly. That guy's, that guy's fast. Right up that right-hand side. Give it to the fast guy to run to the outside. That's my favorite play in youth football. You know what, Rob? I'm looking forward to an entertaining little ball game now here. Falcon you know, line up for a two-point conversion. I'll tell you what, Kesson did a real nice job holding his corner. He turned the player up, but he just had way too much speed for the pursuing Blue Devils. Right on the board now. Yeah, Higgins Six. had a chance at it. Blue Devils couldn't, couldn't bring him down. Wolverham's he just turned on the Jets the and two. brought it in. See if that... Here's a big two-point conversion try. That is the first score given up by this Blue Devil defense. Quarterback in the shotgun takes a snap, looking to pass, looks left. That's a good. That's a good play. Yeah, Kesson was Kesson was there on the defense. It was just perfect throw, inside shoulder throw. It was a, it was a good throw. And Kesson had a chance. The receiver just fought him a little bit harder for it. 
Now, another thing to keep an eye on the next time the Falcons get the ball, they were doing a, little, a lot of hurry up there. They weren't using the huddle. If you notice, all the offensive linemen have the little sheets on their forearms because they were getting the play alone with the quarterback. I think this is going to be a fun test for the Blue Devils tonight. Sure is. 8-8. Eight, eight. Falcons are going to line up for the kickoff. And while they're doing that and while the music is giving us a little break, that gives me an opportunity to thank some of the sponsors, Northampton Youth Football. Our premium sponsors include the Northampton Police Relief Association, Calvin Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. Gold major sponsors are led by Pioneer Landscapes, MRW, Connected LLC, Liquors 44, Mark A. Tanner, he's an attorney at Bacon Wilson, Osberg and Associates, Florence Savings Bank, and World War II Club, the Deuce. Blue sponsors include Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins Real Estate, Joe's Pizza, Whalen Insurance Agency, the Dove Business Associates, Valley Home Improvement, Weber and Grinnell, the Blue Bonnet Diner, and Strides, operating out of Northampton Athletic Club. Falcons lined up for the kickoff. Also want to thank our family sponsors, the Morrisons, the Benedizics, the Berensons, the Zinals, the Tudrons, and the Burnishes. The kick from Good kick. Picked up by number 22, Joe Brezina. Got some room there on the left-hand side. Brings it out close to midfield. That's a good run back. And I did get it from the daddy's mouth. His last name is pronounced Brazna. Brazna, good to know. Silent Y, just like the P is in pneumonia. First and 10 for Northampton, number 46. Okay, we, we give you all the information up here, folks. And the dad did acknowledge that some of the family members are Brazinas and some of them are Brazinas, but they are the Braznas. Okay. And they all come from the same clan. First and 10 on the 46-yard line. There's a handoff nice to Brazna. Up the middle. Determined run. Those tips come in handy. Those little pronunciation tips. Here. Use them all the I time. love that play. I love those quick hitter five yards plays. I mean, those uh, those those punish a defense. Nice play. Second and five and a half, six yards. Let's Real nice right surge by number uh, seventy-two, Bo Garbarini, on that last play. Great offensive line play by Garbarini. Osberg takes the snap, rolls to his right, looking for a receiver. Now he's going to keep it himself, trying to find some room. You know, Pulled out of bounds at the 45-yard line. It's a loss of about four now. yards there. Yeah, the offensive line play did break down a yeah, little on that. I thought the, I think yeah, there was a blitzing linebacker that uh, shut down the corner. He had had Braden down there, number 40, and that was his primary target, and Braden was open, but there was no opportunity for him to plant and throw. Yeah, couldn't set his feet. He did the right thing. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, he tried to make a little spin move there, but his right foot stepped out of bounds as he was pivoting back, and he might have been able to keep that play going a little bit longer. Now Osberg in the shotgun. Sends Davis in motion. Davis in motion in the way of the ball. Ball's on the ground. He picks it up, tries to find some room. Up that play is falling on by big number 66 by the Falcons. Number 44, Jake Picara. Seemed like the timing was a little bit off on that play, right? Yeah, I think they referred to that play as oops. Strange read that right away and got right inside of them. I'm not sure. Was that was that center snap supposed to get a be go to Davis as he went by? I think someone thought that the snap was going to go to someone other than it was supposed to go to. I mean, judging by the way that quarterback Osberg was looking at it, I thought maybe you, uh, Davis was supposed to pick that off in midair and. And he's back to punt, and he, he rips one. Punt, gets Great a good kick. kickoff with a falcon in his face. It takes a Blue Devil bounce. Rolls inside the 20-yard line, down at the 18. What a great punt. That's another good weapon to have in your arsenal, Rob. When it's fourth down, you got a punt. It's written. And he's going to hit a 50-yard punt like that? Yeah, with that, with that, with that punt. Right, that was about 50 yards, right? That was Ray Guy-esque right there. Inside the 20. 14-yard line. I was a fan of the Raiders when I was growing up. Love that Kenny Stabler. Coffin corner. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the name of that tall linebacker that uh, thought that'll come to me. It's going to be uh, Levin's new nickname when I think of it. So the Falcons, once again, they start out in the shotgun. Well, Quarterback reverse. keeper, number 32. Nice play by Burnish. 
Furnish, not fooled, drags him down. Looked like he was trying to land a prize bass on that one, but he brought him down to the turf. Tell you what, that was just great play. He was battling the battling the blocker. He reached out with his right arm at the same time his left arm was battling the blocker. That is a big time play by Burnish. That just took guts, determination, tremendous athleticism, and great strength in his hands and forearms. Nice play by Burnish. He got a hold of Wow. He's second and so long now. That's the first play we've seen out of the Falcons where they bring the quarterback up under center. I formation. Receiver to the left. Fumble. Ball on the ground. Davis, Davis picks it up, up and he's going to score. Into the end zone. Into the right. score. 21. <laughs> You know what? Zone. Davis wanted to tackle that guy, but he uh, got his head and he saw the ball there. And instead of going for the man who's who he wanted to go for, he went for the ball, picked it up, scored touchdown, Blue Devils. Outstanding play by Davis. So in three plays there, one play he kicks it 50 yards down the field, gets it inside on the 20. Second play. They stop him for no gain. Third place scoops up the fumble. You know, those are touchdown. three big-time plays, all exceptional. A great play by Burnish, sandwiched between two super plays by Elijah Davis as they line up for the two-point conversion. Two point conversion. Great you know. athleticism by Davis there. Vans, Northampton High School football coach. Northampton lines up for the two-point conversion try. Osper takes the snap, rolls to his left. Looks like he's going to keep it Shout himself. To Northampton football coach Pat Slidesky. Tripped up. Number 11 on the run. He has Osper conversion is no good. Field. Brought down by number... Looks like number one. That'll make the Jake score 14 0 Blue Devils. 14 8. 14 8. 14 8. I'm sorry. 14 8. We don't know the time. That's for sure. We often don't understand the calls, and sometimes we don't know the score. I'd like to send a shout out to Cyrus, number three, Cyrus Carey. It's his birthday today. So happy birthday, Cyrus. Hey, Coach Frank Levins does need to be pleased with the, with the spirited performance of his squad so far. He's assisted by longtime coach Scott Channel and, and Mike Gregashevitz, who's back on the sidelines helping out the squad. Also like to give a shout out to the Northampton Youth Football Board, led by President Hank Girardin. He's assisted by Vice President Ron Behrens and Secretary Erica Lamana, Treasurer Diana Sino. Osberg with the Booming kick. kick. Fielded cleanly by the Falcons. Picked up Looking up the right hand side. Ooh, nice hit. Brought down hard, Brought down nice hard by Elijah Davis. Davis. Yeah, great momentum and Davis is right there with a big stop. It's a timeout on the board. Timeout. Timeout on the field. All right, we're ready to get it started in here. 14 day Blue Devils. Falcons take over Looking on their own 40 the yard line. Raffles going Takes around. the snap. Looking to throw. Oh, he tosses it up in the air to nobody because big Jose Reyes was all over. I think they're going to call a horse Illegal collar tackle there. Illegal forward pass, they're going to call that? No, they're going to call a horse collar tackle, unfortunately. No, Jose Reyes did a good job of fighting through to get to the quarterback, and the only hand he could get on him was one that landed around his neck. You know, that's just a size differential right there. Well, he did have him around the neck at the collar, too. And we do want to emphasize the safety as much as we can. You know, it's, it, it is the right call. They, they had to call it. That's too bad. Reyes made a nice play there. It is unfortunate that they're going to get 15 yards on a play where the quarterback basically threw the ball up for grabs. We have first and 10 now, Wilbraham. Wilbraham in the shotgun formation again. Takes the snap. Looking for a receiver. Has big number 32 open. Higgins he misses got the him. Ball. Cuts back, down by breaks another tackle. Higgins gets another bite at the apple and brings him down. Down by number 10, Henry Higgins. Helped out by Matt Channel on that one. And also number 34, Jasper, Jasper Kesson. Kesson. That number 32 is a pretty solid player tackle. in his own right. And that's uh, Elijah Davis reporting back into the game for number three, 23, Griffin Shaw. A big play for Wilbraham there. First, first and up. 10 now on 30-yard line for Wilbraham. Wilbraham will start lines up. first down on, their, on the Blue Devils' 30-yard line here. Takes a snap. There's a handoff up the middle. There's a hole. Nice Brought play. Down by big number, number 70, 70, Ethan Gorman. Ethan Gorman with the tackle there. Did a good job of Lynn fighting Gorman off his ball. that's uh, the end that's of the quarter. That is the Gorman end of the quarter. On the run. Just a quick shout out to some the start of the second here quarter here as the teams change ends. Northampton Blue Devils look fired up Carpenter. here on defense. Joe's Cafe down on Market Street. We'll and we were talking, please. Rob, about how the Falcons Whether here have a pretty shirt, sophisticated offense diner. that they're running. They sure do. Goggins Real Estate. I think there have only been sponsors. two plays where the quarterback hasn't been in the shotgun. Sending guys in motion. Two guys to the right. There was some illegal motion looked like on that Long one. Pass. Ball is up. Quarterback.
throw into the receiver. Oh, you got to call pass interference. Looks like on number on Matt Channel. Uh, that that it was either on Osberg or Higgins. I couldn't really tell. I couldn't tell who that was on. Trying to work out the call here. And there was a hold. Offsetting penalties. Offsetting penalties. You're right, Rob. No harm, no foul, as they say. They're going to do that one again. Like an inadvertent flag, maybe? <laughs> so, so there was a lot of, we were just talking about the offense, and on that play, they had two guys going in motion. They faked motion to the right-hand side. They had two wideouts split to the right. Quarterback looked off to the right, threw to the left. Penalties. Lots going on with that offense. Thank you, Andrew Kesson. Second down and eight yards to go for the Falcons. It'll be second down still. Offsetting penalties. And also the Falcons are running a lot of no huddle. It's a very impressive offense. Very sophisticated. A lot of motion. Good variety of plays. And takes a lot of athleticism to execute. I just hand it to number 32 and let him run. There we go. Takes a snap. Hands off to number 32. Watch him run. Makes it to the corner. There's a hold. There's a hold. All over the place. Yeah, this is coming back. Feet. Number nine, Matt Channel is in on that tackle. Number 33, Jared Levin's in on that tackle. Yeah, that's an easy call. But that's going to come back. Again, Eddie with the Lots of flags in the field, and if we had flags up here, we would have thrown them too. And at the break, we were able to figure out Jared Levin's new nickname. Who made, who made the play there? We're going to refer to him as the Stork. Like Hendricks, Teddy Hendricks, the dominating linebacker from the 70s and Oakland A's. Just that tall speed. Raiders. Oakland Oakland Raiders. Oakland, yeah, Raiders. <laughs> it's, the, A's were, the A's were dominant in the 70s, too, with Reggie Jackson. It's easy to tackle him. Vita baseball. Blue. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Campan, it was a. Vita, Tony Campan and Vita Blue. Can Tony, yeah. Right? Tunkin was their, was their catcher, right? Second and long here coming up for Wilbraham after the penalty. Folks, Joe a, Rudy, left field, Joe right? Rudy, that's a good one. Played some first base. That was, that was a great, great team. And Raleigh Finn, Raleigh, Raleigh Fingers. Fingers. Second down and 18 to go. Quarterback takes a snap. On the play. Couldn't on handle the play. it, falls Number down on it. Him dies on the ball. So we were talking about what a sophisticated offense they are running in the last two plays. They've gone backwards about 20 yeah, yards. Big, big risk, big return. You know, with a weapon like number 32, sometimes, you know, they, they overthink it a little bit. And clearly Wilbraham is building toward, uh, toward their high school squad. I think there's a timeout, right? Timeout. Wilbraham. Falcons. After the timeout, Wilbraham faces a third and we're going to call it uh, 24. But I think they have the weapons to maybe get that done. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Well, they're going to try to hand it off to number 32. It didn't quite work out. Number 10, so quarterback number 10 takes the, the ball, runs it up the middle, like gets a gain 14, of about Jared eight Fowler there. That was a broken play. That was a broken they play. turned it to about a seven-yard gain. Bring British up, was there on the tackle as well. It's going to bring up about fourth and 20. About fourth and 20 here. Yeah, this is a this is a punting situation, but I don't know. Given this uh, dynamic offense, they may go for it. Yeah, nope. trying to see from nope, the nope, they're set up for a punt. Like they're going to be punting. So Davis but is got to watch. Got to watch the fake though. For the reception, for I'm it, sorry to receive the punt. Yeah, that's number number twenty four reported into the game. Javante Grant, he's out there. Oh, something uh -oh, just something somebody funny. got through there. Lucero with a kick for Wilbraham. Picked up oh, by Chandler on a nice short kick. He's got some room. Accelerate. Got some room. Tackled at the 48-yard line of the Falcons. That's a heads-up play by Glenn Channel there. Number two, Glenn Gore brought that, brought, brought that play up, brought it down. The hand's going to be starting out about the 46. Channel was back there to block for Davis, and it was a kick. Yeah, but that was, was that wasn't offsides on Hamp, so there's going to be a re-kick. That's going to move the ball forward five yards, bringing up fourth and 15. And then what's going to happen is the Blue Devils will go back into uh, their punt re receiving mode, and there'll be a re-kick. I thought you were going to predict the play. So the penalty is going to be going against Hamp here. Davis is going to be back again after the to receive the kick. We we'll give it another try. Uh, who was the offsides on there? Did you see Rob? Uh, I think that was uh, Teddy Hendricks. Yeah, was, I think it was Jared Levins who. Uh, I think so. Uh, I think he, he got through there very quickly. All right, here you go. They have an uncovered receiver on the right here. Oh, they won't have the ball. Excuse me. There is a punt. It gets past Davis. But at this point, you know, he doesn't know what to, what to do. Downed on the four-yard line. Looked like that Davis ball Davis ball was, was thinking about picking it up. Right. He did the right thing. He didn't touch it. That them to Unfortunately, that ball rolled field. inside the five. 
Yeah, that is about there. They've got to give him about 96 yards to go for that uh, third score of the day game. So Blue Devils are going to take over deep in their own territory. They're on the six yard line. Let's wouldn't be surprised. Nice yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see Davis, Davis, Davis to try to get some space, and then a quick hitter to channel. Let's see. You know, you got, you got, you got to, you got to run in between the tackles when you're this deep. And, and Davis has been the most effective in there. Osberg takes the snap, hands off to Davis, has a little bit of daylight there, cuts it up the middle. That's a nice game. That's just what you're talking about, Rob. That's a first down. Gives them more room, and they're out to the 19-yard line. Number 35 for Wilbraham. Number 35. Oh, that's uh, yeah, that could. Nate Conway, number 35. That's it. Is a first down. That's going to bring up first and 10 at about the uh, was at the 16 or 17. Almost got to the 19. The 17 yard line. Nachos. Lots of warm food. Hot coffee. One more play like that, they'd have they'd have a lot of room and wouldn't have to worry so much. Osberg takes the snap. To hand off the channel, looks for some room, dances a little bit, tries to cut it back, brought and down, maybe a gain of one brought yard there. Number 12 from Wilbraham, Brad Messier. Brad Messier, right in there in the play. These are seem to be a hole there, and, and Matt was a little tentative getting into that hole. Just, you know, he's a, he's a strong kid, he's a tough kid. We'd love to see him accelerate into those holes. Cr create the contact, finish the run. Second down and nine for the Blue Bulls. Osberg takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Davis, looking downfield, throws the ball up in the air. He was Long looking for number 40, that was Ryan Braden. And uh, Osberg Didn't had Braden there, it just that was a un ball was underthrown by about three yards, unfortunately. He got lucky there that the defender didn't pick it off too. Was that yeah. was underthrown? Yeah, that's you know three more. You needed about three more yards on that throw. Had he thrown it those three yards, I think Braden was over the top and may have been able to extend that out for a long game. I do like to call. The, the, the play call though because it does give the Falcons something else to think about. Third down and 11 here. Osberg's in the shotgun formation. Yeah, third and 11 now. Takes the snap, drops back, looking to pass again. Throwing deep. Oh, what a Connects great throw. 14. With Jared Fowler. Jared at the Fowler with a big takes, catch. Takes, finally take it down at the Falcons 40 yard line. That's a great catch, great throw, big time play. What a great reception. Great throw by it was a great throw by Osper because he put it again in a place where only his guy could get it. You know what Fowler, did, you know what Fowler did really well there? So many players stopped and jumped. He kept running underneath the ball. He, he timed it perfectly. Great play. He did a great job of accelerating once that ball got in the air. Yeah, he did. He ran right under it. And then he kept on running. But now the Blue Devils have lots of room. They're on the 41-yard line of the Falcons. Osper takes a snap, hand up the channel, looking for some room to the right. Cuts it up a little bit, loss of two. They're calling fumble out there, and the Falcons are saying they recovered. And I think he was stopped before he fumbled. I think his forward progress uh, got him got him a, back to the line of scrimmage. Yep, that's what the referees are saying. Yeah, yeah, that's a no gain. Bring up second and ten. It's gonna be handball down to forty-three. Northampton on their own 41, 42 yard line. Osberg on her center, three backs behind him. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, throws the ball off the end of Levin. catches the ball. What a great reception. First down at the 24 yard line of the Falcons. Another good throw, especially on the move like that by Osberg. Another big gain for Northampton. They're moving the chains down the field, threatening the score. You know, when you have tall, athletic receivers like that, Rob. Makes it a lot of fun to play quarterback. Certainly Great does. Great stretch by Levens there. Pull that ball in. So now the Falcons got a lot to think about. Blue Devils throwing the ball, running the ball effectively. And that, that's Higgins who came in for a uh, nice run. Had an open hole for a second or two. Number 10 it's on the gain of three. There. Yeah, that's Higgins who came in at uh, halfback and did a real nice job turning it up and, you know, surged ahead for two yards. That's a positive play, Rob. Yeah, that's we what like we like. That. Just, you know, accelerate up, create the contact, accelerate through, get positive yards. What we're seeing here is a lot of variety of as Blue Devils using all their weapons on offense. They are, and they have, they're fortunate, and they have a lot of weapons on offense. We've seen Brosna, we've seen Burnish, we've seen Davis, we've seen Channel, we've seen Levens, we've seen Fowler. Osper takes the snap, pitch to Higgins, to his right. 
cuts it back to his left. No. It's a gain of about four or five there. And Again, third and three. You know, what you got to like about uh, what Higgins did there is he got hit, but he kept his legs going, so he pushed forward, finished the run, fell forward, and added two yards after the hit. That's exactly what you want to see out of your running backs. And he gets a big pat on the helmet from three or four of his players as he comes back. At, and that's the two-minute warning at, for the end of the half. Warning on the field. Two-minute warning. We have two minutes left in the first half here. As the Blue Devils continue this drive that started on their own six-yard line. Osberg's up under center. Takes the snap. To Davis. The oh, and he's got some room. Davis. Oh. The 21 of the run there. Front Davis lost the, the ball on the tackle there, but the referees are calling him down. That's close, and that's enough for a first down. You know, it's uh, on that particular play, Davis is just so so loves the contact that he that he went for the contact instead of making the move to the outside. He was running a little too upright, too, and didn't really protect the ball enough. But you know what we saw there, Rob? That was three plays that weren't spectacular, but they got the job done. They sure did. First down. Hey, Northampton Youth Football is uh, brought brought to the. Bug spray over at the merchandise table. If you're worried about. Boy, it's hard sometimes to talk over the announcements. I wanted to give a shout out to our board of directors, led by President Hank Gerard, and after this play, we'll get the rest of the board members. First and ten, Osberg takes the snap. There's a pitch to Channel. I think he's looking to throw. Throws the ball up. Nobody there to catch it. He was looking for Jared Fowler. But he wasn't open. You know, Channel is the backup quarterback and throws a nice ball. I'm not surprised they put that in the playbook. Uh, yeah. President Gerard and on the board of directors is assisted by Ron Berenson, who's the vice president, Eric Lamana, Diana Zinal, Manfred Melcher, Taryn Johnson, Patrick Diggins, and Brian Pazeski. We really appreciate all their efforts. It's a 12-month commitment. Without their commitment, we wouldn't have such a quality program. Second and 10 for the Blue Devils. Osberg takes the snap. Hand off the channel, looking to his right. That's a great move. Eludes the first tackler, tries to that elude channel. the second tackler. And tackles and gets a few yards. Lots of fancy footwork there, but it's really only a gain of about a half a yard. You know what, though? He turned a, that was a half yard gain, but it could have been a four yard loss. That was a nice effort by Channel. Good run for him. Timeout uh, as a Wilbraham player is slow to get up. Third and nine for the Blue Devils. Time running short here in the first half. Blue Devils lead this game 14 to 8. 14 to 8, that is correct. And it's uh, late in the second half, second quarter. Osberg takes the snap, fakes the handoff, gives to Davis. Davis looking for Zeruman on the left hand side. Davis. That was a good tackle there by number 35 on the Falcons. Sure was. Elijah's a handful at takedown, and this brings up fourth and eight. And there is not much time left. They're, they have 45 seconds and running, we just heard from the official. Now, so this is a drive that started on the Blue Devils' six-yard line. And yeah, they're, I'll, I'll say even if they don't score here, they've really done a tremendous job. They sure have. Fourth down as time's running short here in the first half. Osberg comes in after the timeout, gives the play to his teammates. They break the huddle. Osberg up under center. Osberg takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, looking for someone to throw to. There's nobody there. Keeps it himself. Brought down, by Brought down short of the first Camp down marker. Number 11, number Osberg a little slow to get up. Looks like Alex he's going to be okay. Number 11 on the run. Osberg unable to get the first down, so the Blue Devils are going to turn the ball over. I think, late in the first half. I think they went to the well one too many times on that play. That was well guarded. They both there were double coverage on the receiver. They they picked up Levins coming out of the uh, his end position. Well, it's unfortunate that a drive that went so deep didn't result in any points. But and again, they kept they, the ball out of the Falcons' hand. And if everything goes according to plan here, they're going to go into the halftime with the lead. No. That's a, that's a play that they ran to the short side and a really limited opportunities. Once the play wasn't there, there's just the sideline was there. There was nothing to do but well, take it out of bounds. Well, as we earlier, the Falcons have a lot of speed on defense, and they showed it there. Oh. They closed pretty quickly on, on the quarterback who was rolling out to his left. And if a right-handed quarterback is rolling out to his left, it's going to take him some time to get set and throw the ball, and he just didn't have any time. So the Blue Devils are going to come out on defense looking to shut down the Falcons. First and 10 here for Wilbraham. Falcons once again starting the shotgun. Three receivers. Quarterback throws it deep. Long pass. Looking for someone. Oh, Matty Channel almost picked that off. He was right there. 
Good defense. Also, Jared Fowler was there on coverage. Yeah, that's, that's good coverage by both Fowler and Jandel. And uh, Kessa, number 34, was also there. That play, that play just didn't have a lot of uh, lo low probability of success. That was the everybody go deep and I'll throw it to you play, and it didn't really work. We used to do that one in our backyard. Scratch it out in the dirt. Yeah. You so go deep and I'll huck it. Second down and 10. Lots of whistles going on. It's a timeout. Timeout, Falcons. You know, how about after the timeout, Falcons facing a second and 10. Second and 10 now. Wolverine. Late in the first half, so they're looking to make something happen quickly. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Throws the ball up. Nobody really there with a green yeah, shirt to catch it. Closest one there. And that's the end of the half. Jared Fowler. There's the end of the first nine, half. For Blue Devils are ahead 14, 14. to 8. Starting the second half here at Tudor Field, Smith Vocational High School. Uh, dusk is, is quickly settling into nighttime. The lights are on. Blue Get Devils are winning 14 half. to 8 over the Wilbraham Falcons. Wilbraham's going to kick off Wilbraham to the Blue Devils. We have Davis deep. And who else is that ball. deep there, Rob? Uh, it's uh, Brosno, number 22, Joey Brosno. Wilbraham checks left, checks right. Waiting for the whistle. We're all good to go. And here's the kick. And that will be Brosnan if it stays in bounds. Let it go. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be a penalty on the Falcons. And Hamp will take over at the their own 45-yard line with that penalty. 24-yard line for Northampton for the start. Is that the 40-yard line for that, Rob? It's 40 or 45. We're going to find out real quick, aren't we? Either way, that's good for the for the Blue Devils. Sure is. That worked out well. That's a little bit of a mistake for the Falcons. And I think uh, Matty Channel is going to start the second half at quarterback position. No, there's going to be re-kick. It's a re-kick. That's interesting. Are they guess are they calling that uh, illegal motion or something? Or I don't know. I thought when you kicked, I thought back? when you kicked it out of bounds, it uh, moved back. 10 yards, re-kick. I missed one rules meeting during the week, and, and then I looked foolish on the air. Okay, so we're going to start the second half here with a kickoff for the Wilbraham Falcons. Penalty there. They're going to be kicking it again. Wilbraham's getting ready to line up. Hamp will be receiving. I thought he was going to put it up on his foot there for a second round and have the kid kick off there. Here we go. There's the kick. It's a pooch. Pops it up in the air. Caught Fumble. by Channel, who drops it. It's a scrum out it there. I didn't see who recovered it. The pile of players. Wait, wait for the call. The call. Yeah. Recovered by the Falcons. It's going to be Wilbraham ball. Wilbraham recovers the ball. I think Matty took his eye off the ball just as he was about to catch it. It was a funny little kick. Well, he just kind of well, went a little bit higher than anybody expected. Field. Yeah, and the, you know, you never know. He might have lost it in the lights there, but uh, the result was a ball that bounced off his chest. It bounced into the ground, and then unfortunately, the uh, Wilbraham Falcons recover, taking over first and 10 at the Hamp 46 yard line. Yeah, I believe this is their best field position of the day. And that's number uh, quarterback three. takes a snap. Looking oh, for nice some play. Room. That was big number 70. Ethan That's Gorman. Number 10 is taken down by number 70. Number and Burnish. Helped in there tackle. by Tim Burnish. Burnish. Ethan Gorman and Tim Burnish. Hand him about a 10-yard loss on that. Be second and 20. That was an impressive play by the Blue Devil defense. Yeah, it sure was. And it was a big play. I mean, you know, the Falcons had all the momentum after the turnover. Brings up second and 18. Quarterback the shotgun fades back to pass. Gorman in his face again. He overthrows. Nice his job. Receiver. Two big plays by Gorman. He's coming out with a, you know, with a determination right now. He's just putting the team on his uh, shoulders. And right, and right behind him once again was Burnish. Yeah. Quarterback number 10 for Wilbraham, Cole Modesto. And, and I'm guessing that the quarterback was thinking about what it felt like to be tackled by Gorman in the last play. Decided he was going to get rid of the ball earlier this time. That's why the receiver wasn't anywhere near the Camp pass. Will be looking for a big stop here. Third down and 19 to go. This time they send a receiver to the right and to the left. Two to the right, one to the left. Quarterback takes a snap, looking to pass again. Throws to the right. He's got a receiver open. 
Makes the catch. First down at the Blue Devil 24 there. That was uh, Channel and Kesson on the tackle. Boy, that was a great throw. Channel and Kesson on the tackle. And Jared Fowler was there, too. The, the, foul, the Wilbraham player managed to get behind the defenders. And the quarterback did a good job of hitting them because there were Blue Devils around him. That was a long throw. I don't think the Blue Devils were prepared for a throw of that distance. They probably didn't think he could throw it that far. So Wilbraham first and 10 now. Well, it's 23. So you've called this offense a high-risk and reward offense. That was sure a high-reward play right there. First and 10. Oh, there's Falcons. motion. There's some motion. That'll push him back five yards. Walk it back five. That's unfortunate for the Falcons. It looked like they were getting, Wait, obviously after a big now. play like that, you don't want to have a penalty. Wilbraham. Slow down your momentum, but the Blue Devils will take it. Falcons are ready. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes the snap. It's a handoff. Looking for some room to his left. Forced up field. Hangs a little bit of a hole. He gets back to the, the original line, line of scrimmage, scrimmage right? I couldn't see who was on the on the tackle there. Could you see was that Burnish? Levens. Number 15 and number 33 on that play? Yeah, Burnish and Levens on that tackle. Second down. That's the first running play they've they've called in four or five plays. Put it back in the shotgun again. Takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Receiver open the flat. Oh, the nice play by Davis. Play, number 32 picked up immediately. That was Davis with a good tackle Elijah Davis with on tackle number 32, who is, I think, if we just draw a poll up here, it's probably the Wilbraham's best again. player. Sure is. Did a good job of wrapping him up after a minimal gain. Third and seven, let's call it. Yeah, this is a big series for the uh, the Blue Devils. They they have a tenuous six point lead. Big play by the. Uh, Falcons put him in this position. We're hoping this is one of those bend, don't break scenarios. And there's motion again. So once again, as soon as something positive happens for Wilbraham, they tend to shoot themselves in the foot. So bring him five yards further back. So that'll make it third, third and 13. It seems that as this game is going on, the Wilbraham offense has gotten a little bit more out of sync. Quarterback takes a snap. He's looking to pass. Finds number two in the flat. Oh. Kesson misses Kesson the tackle. By number two. Tackle by Finally the brought out of bounds by Fowler. Fowler you know, that's tough. When you're an island out there on the corner, Kesson almost made the big time play. He did a good job of recognizing the play and closing on the receiver. You know, just came up a fraction short, but Fowler was there coming from his linebacker position to bring up fourth and six. And that, uh, that number two did a good job of keeping his concentration. He bobbled that ball a little bit, but he hauled it in. Well, so far, this, this play right here is the biggest play of the game. It's fourth and six. Fourth and six. Wilbraham has the ball on uh, the Hamp 20-yard line. Got two receivers to the right, one to the left. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Throws. Hit by Kesson. Brought down. By number short of the first down. Good play by Kesson. Close. No, they did get the first down. They got the first down. My mistake. That'll bring up a first down for, North Ham uh, for Wilbraham, excuse me. That was a big fourth down conversion for Wilbraham. I think those Wilbraham parents over there have the stakes in the wrong place. They threw me off. But I tell you what, these corners are getting tested tonight against this uh, this passing offense. It's a little bit of a trick play. A oh, nice cut. Big number 32. Kesson once again penetrates the backfield, forces them back to the inside where his four buddies bring him down. Jared Fowler on the play. It's a gain of about two there. A good pursuit by uh, Fowler and Levins in that play to hold number 32 to just a couple of yards, and Kesson's going to get a well-earned break here. Second down and eight there on the 10-yard line of the Blue Devils. Quarterback takes the snap of the shotgun, looking to throw. Throws the ball up in the air. He's got a man open. Pass is caught. And caught in the end zone. It was number 32. 32 Solid reception. For Wilbraham. Got his way into the end zone. So Takes a score 14 to 12. We'll see how down. we do on the two point conversion. Ready tonight. Turn 
Timeout, Wilbraham. Good tie the game up. Big two point conversion try Wilbraham here by the Wilbraham Falcons. Go ahead, possibly. Quarterback up under center. Look for the keeper. Looks like he's going to score. It's up the middle. I can't. I don't see any indication. No good. Tie no score. Good. Not going to get it. Oh, what a game. 14 14. The great game we're watching here. Hamp defense stops them at the line. You know, that's the first time that Wilbraham has really kind of tested the, the center of that Blue Devils defensive line. And there are a lot of big, determined boys in the center of that line, and there was no way they were going to let them score up the middle. 14 all. We knew this was going to be an entertaining game in the first half, and so far, it's been an entertaining game. Blue Devils are going to line up to receive the kick. Falcons getting last minute instruction from their coaches. Now let's hope this kick works out better than the last one. Still trying to understand the uh, call. When, you know, my understanding of the rules is when you kick it out of bounds, the other team takes it in favorable position. But it, last time they kicked that out of bounds, there was a re-kick resulted in a turnover. I think that last one might have been a re-kick from five yards Abraham further back. But yeah, they they had moved definitely moved back. There's the kick, a little squid. Inside. Picked Fielded up by, by Davis. Davis. By Looking for Davis. some room. Breaks Seven the first tackle. Tackles. Wow, what a tough kick. Rumbles forward to, to the 45 yard line. You know, there were bodies flying all over the place. Elijah shook him, he punched him, he cut, he banged and rolled forward for five yards. Got to love that determination. Finish your runs. Way to go. Determination is right. That's with a capital D. He was determined to get positive yards on that one. And he did. And it took about four guys to bring him down. So Northampton takes over in favorable field position. They're, they have the ball on the, uh, their own 44-yard line. Osberg is back in the game under center. Wishbone Osberg set. calls the signals, takes the snap, hand off to Davis. He's got a little bit of room. It's a gain of about three yards there. That's just a simple run power run. running play right there. You know what, and, and, and that's what I'm calling. I mean, I'm going to ride Davis into the end zone here. Uh, he's been the most effective runner. I want to run in the tackles. I want to run with my guys who run for power. I don't want to try to get around the ends on these, this team. I think we're stronger in the middle. I think we need to keep the ball in the tackles, use power football. Let's see if they listen to you, Rob. Let's Same see. formation behind Osper. Takes the snap. There's the handoff to channel. Looking for some room on the right-hand side. Met in the backfield. That's a loss of about three yards there. Number 54. Yeah, there was a little bit of there was a breakdown on the offensive line in that play. Well, I think Rob, you know, there was a fake to Davis, then the handoff to Channel. I think I'm with you. None, none of the trickery. Let's just line up and run the ball. Third and nine. Osper takes a snap. Hand off to Davis. Looking for some room on the left hand side. Met by Isaac four Davis Falcons. No gain. Fourth down and nine. Wilbraham, number 12, Brad Messer, number 66 on the tackle there. Alexander Strange. And Rob, I would say here you got, you got Davis, who's now. also an excellent punter. I'd be tempted to pin him back. Yeah, they've got a punt here. Looks like that's what they're going to do. Like Osberg is the up back. Davis is the Isaac punter. Davis. Back to kick. There's the snap. A little bit of a squiver. That goes out of bounds to the 34-yard 34 line. Yard line. Not the punt we had hoped for, but it puts Wilbraham in their own territory. They're on the 34-yard line. So they're going to have a little ways to go if they want to taste the end zone. Grandpa's offering the glasses up the booth here for his grandson. I just might need them. First down for the Falcons. They're going to take over in that 34-yard line. I'll tell you what, the Hamp, uh, both the Hamp corners need to do a little stronger job in this uh, this series. There were a couple of big-time plays around the ends. When this uh, this Wilbraham offense puts a lot of pressure on those corners. They're out there on the island. They've they've got to step up, make some plays to help their squad. Yeah, we saw Wilbraham using the pass, even when the pass it's wasn't the working very well. There's a, there's a makes the play. Hendricks makes the play. Like the Falcons Wilbraham. recovered that. 
Oh, that's a big time play by Levins. He wasn't going to give that play a chance to develop. Terrible. He'd had enough. Levins just jumped through the offense, anticipated the snap, disrupted the handoff. Great play by Levins. What a big time play to open up this drive. He anticipated that snap perfectly. He sure did. Got in there just as the quarterback received the snap. Took charge. Good play by disrupted Levins there. It and he almost managed to come up with Second the fumble. You could just feel his determination on that play. Let's hope the rest of the team feeds off of his, uh, his energy. Third and 18, let's call it. Quarterback takes the snap. He's looking to pass. 32, Eddie catches the, the ball on the field. There's a nice job. Much better job on the corner. Wrapped nice job. Up there by number 11. That's, that's Ian. Is that Ian Osberg? And number 70, Gorman. Much good job. Out of way. That's a good play. That's the kind of, that's 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 what we're talking about. Those corners have to step up and do the job. Yeah, Wilbraham, Wilbraham offense, they're they're going to stick with this pass. And they're why not? It's, it. it's, you know what? And they've, and, and they have. And, you know, they had a huge third down, about a third and 14 that they completed. And, in their last drive, similar situation here. Got to be looking for the pass. Let's get some help uh, on the left side over here uh, on Keston's side. Quarterback takes a snap, fakes a handoff, passes. Oh, that's a great throw. Catch that's right at the first down mark. They're going to call that a first down. Jake Fakara. Jake Fakara. You know what? There we go again. That's uh, you know, that's our safeties have to be on that play and. That was a good job by the receiver. He caught that ball I'll right tell you before what, it hit the ground. They sure did. That was a clean catch from up here. And here they go, no huddle. Takes a snap in the shotgun. There's a handoff oh. to number 32. Got some room. Nice play by Fowler. Ooh, Fowler holds on for dear life. He may have hurt his wrist there. Him up. The tackle. Eddie on the run. Gain about five or six. Okay, we change sides here as we start the fourth quarter. Second and two for Wilbraham Falcons, just about midfield. Quarterback takes a the snap. There's a handoff. Number two, number two Jukes Davis. That was a who hold. Gets a hand that was a hold. On his face mask. Gets the game Not down to the 32-yard line. That one's coming back. On the play. That was a hold. You saw a hold. I thought I saw a face mask, Rob. Did you? Glenn Gore from Wilbraham. Let's There's let the referees the sort it out. Yeah, they're calling a face mask on Davis. Oh, good call. Good good, good eyes. And that is on Northampton. So. so that takes a, what's a 15-yard gain into a 30-yard gain. That's a tough, tough penalty on half face mask. It's going to push the Blue Devils right back, back against the wall here. here. In the second half here, the momentum has definitely shifted to the Falcons' way. Remember, our score is torn up 14-14. So now it's a first down on the 19-yard line of the Blue Devils. Quarterback in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Looks to pass. Got a man open. Makes the catch. Cuts it back. That's close to another first down. Jared Levins and number 34. They're calling that a first down. 33 and 34 to tackle Jared Levins and Jasper. You Kessler. called it, Rob. You were going to say that the Reception. safeties and the corners here were going to be under a lot of pressure here Reception as the Falcons continue this passing game. Goal and we're seeing situation. the effects of that. That brings a first and goal. First from and the goal from about the eight-yard line in that familiar shotgun, no huddle offense. Quarterback takes a snap. There's number 32. Hands off to number 32, running for daylight. Gets to the edge. Nice play by Levins. Brought down. Jared Levins, Eddie on the Jared Levins, a good play to bring him down. Well, you Anytime know, 32 touches the ball, now, he's a little, he's a dangerous man. You know, Levins keeps making big play after big play. That was a great pursuit. So we're in a tie game here in the fourth quarter. Running time, of course. Blue Devils backs against the wall. Second down, seven yards to go. And of course, it's getting dark and harder for us to see. Right here, second down now, Wilbraham. Wilbraham in a huddle, up under center, takes the snap, fades back, has a man open in the end zone, throws it up. Oh, it was almost intercepted. Almost Channel was intercepted. there to intercept it, knocked it down. Who was that, Rob? Was Matt that Channel. Channel. He had a yeah. He, he looked like it went through his hands. Nine, Matt Channel for Northampton. Yeah, it was in the right place. Had an opportunity to make the play. He made the play. He knocked it down. It looked from here like he had an opportunity for a very, for a pick. It would have been a heck of a play if he came down with that. Channel did a good job of putting himself in the right position. After the play by Channel and a timeout, third down and goal to go. 
The Falcons are on the six yard line of the Blue Devils. Play here for Hamp defense now, third down. Falcons are in that familiar shotgun, takes the snap, looks to pass, throws the ball up, he's got a man open. That's a catch. Yeah, Osborne got beat out there on the corner on that play. Jake Bacara. Number 44 for Wilbraham just got got a better position on Osberg there. Yeah, he you know he got sucked inside and just didn't didn't have the recovery getting back there. Ball threw it out over his head and touchdown. And I will say something: the the Wilbraham quarterback does a good job of standing his ground there in that pocket. Blue Devils are all over him, but he's got a good head on his shoulders. So that makes it 20 to 14. So this is going to be a big two point conversion. Ready for the two point conversion here. Northampton needs a big stop here. Wilbraham comes up under center. The last time they did this, they just tried to bull rush up the middle. Quarterback takes yeah, a snap, fades back, throwing, knocked away at the last four. second by Osberg. Good play. Osberg. Big tip on that. That's a big play by Osberg. Conversion. Great, great hands in there by Osberg. Hey, let's use this uh, opportunity again to acknowledge our sponsors, and we'll start with our family sponsors: the Andy Morrison family, the Mike Benedizic family, the Berensons, the Zinels, the Tudrins, and the Burnishes. Thank you very much for your help. The first time we have a number of sponsors who are blue level sponsors. They are Collective Copies, Newman's Construction, Goggins Real Estate Joe's, Pizza, Whalen Insurance Agency, the Dove Business Associates, Valley Home Improvement, Weber and Grinnell, the Blue Bonnet Donner, Diner and Strides, located at Northampton Athletic Club. As we move up the economic contribution list, we find Pioneer Landscapes, MRW. Connected LLC, Liquors 44, Attorney Mark Tanner of Bacon and Wilson, Osberg and Associates, the World War II Club, and Florence Savings Bank. And our highest level sponsors are premium sponsors. We appreciate their contribution. They include Northampton Police Relief Association, the College Coolidge Nursing Home, and Angelic Builders. I only count 10 guys on the receiving team. A little bit of a squib. The Falcons are going to recover it, and they do. Wilbraham falls on the onside kick. Jeez, I don't know what Ryan Braden was thinking of that number 40. Braden, the ball went over the 10-yard line, and he was looking at the player I instead of the ball. Wrong, Rob. I think there's only 10 guys on the kicking team out there. An unfortunate turn of events for the Blue Devils as they were unprepared for the attempt at the onside kick. Uh, was that an onside kick or a miss kick that I just turned that into an onside kick? It looked like kick. an onside kick to me. We'll review the videotape later. Uh, yeah, to me it looked like a like a miss kick that turned into an onside kick, and I wasn't quite sure what uh, how Ryan was reading that. Now football doesn't bounce like a round ball; it bounces left and right, and it's certainly a tough play. And they got that favorable Falcon bounce. Falcons are going to take over just over yeah, midfield. Throw, still throwing the ball, ball up in the air. Good Pass play by Osberg to knock that out of the way. That's two straight. Big plays easy. Picard, the intended receiver, but Ian Osberg was right there to break that play up. Great coverage by Ian Osberg. That'll bring up second and ten. They're uh, these these corners are are getting getting tested tonight. And that was another good throw by the Wilbraham quarterback. That one was right on target. Sure was. And uh, although Osberg tipped the first one, he almost tipped it right into the defensive player, but he tipped it again, fortunately, and uh, ended up an incomplete pass. And he got a little bit lucky too because he wasn't really looking okay. at the ball. Hands off. Number two. Hand off up the middle. Seven, eight yards up the that middle. was number, number two. So it was, uh, Greg Ishevitz got his hand on him, number 68, and then Burnish finished it off, bringing up about a third and two. Tim Burnish on the tackle. So once again, it's late in the fourth quarter, and, and we don't know how much time is left. Number 59, Nick Sandoval in on that too. But I can't imagine there's a lot of time left. No, there, there can't be, and there's a, there's a big third down play here. Third three, we we could use some negative yardage. We could use a fumble. We could use a turnover. We need something to go our snap. way. There's a handoff to number four, looking for some room on his right. A big closing move by Kesson forces him to the inside, but he manages the to four, get past him to the first down. Wilbraham now, and that clock is still running up the middle. Wilbraham's going to run that Someone ball from the Blue Devils is going to have to step up here to make a Make a play. play. We, you know, we need a turnover. Something exciting has to happen. We need an interception. We need a turnover. Although at this point of the game, I'd be surprised if Wilbraham puts the ball in the air. They're, they're having success on the ground. It's late in the fourth quarter. The Hamp defense has been on the field most of the second half. You know, just keep it simple. Quarterback takes a snap, looking to throw. It's a flag on the play. I'm thinking that's motion. Good thing there's a flag. Based on the reaction of the Wilbraham 
parent holding the stick, sticks over there. I think it was motion. And that's a fortunate outcome, although they, you know, they, it was a complete pass, but the Hamp guys did hear the whistle. They slowed down. And that's going to bring up, uh, that's going to, we're going to replay we're first for down. To, we're waiting for them to sort it out. What? Yeah, replay first down. First and 15, Wilbraham. Okay, first and 15 and for Wilbraham. They're on the Northampton 45 yeah, we'll yard line. Down to get that ball back, that clock's running. Quarterback in the shotgun, takes a snap. He's looking to throw. Yeah. A little quick out to the back. Here at Levin's with a what? Killer hit on the quarterback. Pushed out of bounds by Kesson at about the 40, 35 yard line. Number 34 on a tackle for Northampton. Yeah, so that's a gain of about five yards. That was a nice uh, nice play by Kesson on there. That was, uh, that was his best, play, best tackle of the night. Just accelerated through it, made a big time hit. That was a five yard gain. It's going to bring him second and 10. Second and 11 here for. I don't know if you saw that, but uh, Levins burst through and put a vicious hit on the quarterback just as he was releasing the ball. It was a perfectly clean play. Definitely shook the quarterback and up a little bit. Here, get, get their hands on that ball, get the Second down and 11. Falcons still going to that throwing well. Takes a snap, looking to throw. Throws the ball up in the air. Oh. Channel had a chance. But the ball falls yeah. incomplete. Yeah, that, was, that would have been a tough catch. The nose of that ball was down. That would have been a tough play. But he is the player on the field that had the best chance of making a play on that, on that throw. He was the only one close to it. So I think it's like third and 11 now. Tom Forcier, number 30 for Wolverham, was the intended receiver on that play. Yeah, that was the, that was the, that's the kind of play it's going to take for us to get back in the game. Somebody's going to have to step up and make an extraordinary play. And given the way these guys like to throw the ball, and I've got to tell you, I'm questioning the strategy, especially given the effectiveness of some of these runners. It's just a lot of risk when you throw the ball. The three things can happen. Two of them are bad. Third and 11. Well, Quarterback takes a snap. Flag in, the flag in the play. And I'm guessing that's another motion call. That is illegal motion on the Falcons. So that's going to bring it back five more yards. And more importantly, that stops the clock, Rob. Third, third and 15 here. Quarterback in the shotgun, sends his players in motion, fakes the handoff, looking to throw, look at the throw up the middle. Well covered. It was a well covered pass, and that, was, that wasn't a good idea. That was a ball he shouldn't have thrown. So here it comes, Rob. Fourth and 16, let's call it. Got, got to be punting here. Seems to be some disagreement about the strategy up here amongst the uh, the brain trust. Kesson of Andrew Kesson of Kesson Productions is looking for the fake, and there's That's a motion. motion. There's, there's motion. motion again. That's going to add five yards. That's a big penalty at this point. That is a big penalty because now they they the can't take it. The really, the only thing they can do now is punt. But they were determined it, uh, to get down there and make the play. You know, Elijah Davis has uh, been at the cusp of breaking a long one all day today. We could be real exciting to see it here, wouldn't it? Sure would. Run up the near near sideways. So five yards for the bat. The quarterback or the punter and takes it. That's a snap, short punt. Kicks it. Pick it up. Picked up. Jared Fowler. Jared Fowler. Nice gets job. Gets about ten yards there. So now the Blue Devils are going to take over at their own thirty-nine yard Davis line. Strange, who's had a fistful of tackles. And play. here it comes down to it. It's the so fourth Hampton quarter. Amps down. Looks like around about the 40 yard line. They're on their right? own 40. They got to get something going here. This might be their last opportunity to, for, that, uh, game tying, yet, for that game yeah. timing score. And if they can here. get that score, a two point conversion will be good for the victory. I'd like to get to that point. I'd like to have a nice two point conversion for the victory play. Okay, Osberg in the shotgun. Has two receivers to the left. Takes the snap, looking to throw. Throws the ball. Oh, he's got, he's got Levens. That's that's it. That's interference. Where's the flag? Oh. I think if that ball had been a little closer to Levens. Yeah, hey, if you know what happened is it wasn't a tight spiral, so it lost a little of its zip there at the end, and he had Levens over the top. He needed to throw that about five more yards. Well, I also agree with you that it, uh, that could have been interference because the defender was not looking back at the ball. He was just face guarding Levens. But we just got to do something here. Yeah, that, you know that's a that's a long throw. Uh, 
Fortunately, it uh, came up a little short. Now Osberg's up under center. Takes the snap, takes the throw, rolls to his right. Throws, but I think his arm might have been hit by number 44. Looking for Fowler again. Incomplete. I think I couldn't tell if uh, his hand got hit when he threw that or what happened. The, the, the ball took a funny, a funny the flight. The ten now. So third and ten. Osberg takes the snap, looking to throw. Throws the ball up oh, in the air. Deep. That's picked and off picked by off. the Falcons, number 32. Got to get him down. Ball. Davis up from behind, brings him down at about the 45-yard line. Down from behind. That's a bad turnover for Northampton, folks. Yeah, that's a unfortunate, an unfortunate play Wolverham right there. Come up with the ball on that. The intended receiver interception by Eddie from Wolverham. Well, I think... Uh, yeah, the Blue Devils, I agree with our cameraman, Mr. Kesson. I think the Blue Devils were a little bit out of their element there. They're not really a, a team that can throw it every down. I would like to see him hand it off to Davis at least one of those three plays. Down here late in the fourth quarter. So now, once again, we said it before, but now we really need it. Some yeah. of our defense is going to have to do something. And I know, Rob, you're just sitting there saying the Falcons are just going to run the ball. I, know, I think when they run the ball, that's not their really offense. They don't but do you know well. what? They run it well enough. Here we go. The handoff, 32. Yeah. The tackle, two. There's, There's a penalty. A flag. Looks like it might be a hold. Let's He's see what we got. Down by. That is a hold. Clip. Clip. Clip on the Falcons. That's a that's a big penalty. That's going to push it back 15 right yards. Right. There was 68 in the play. Actually, also a flag in that play. There's actually two 68s in the roster here. It could have also been Andrew Gregor Shevitz. So. We don't know. They both made the tackle. So that'll push the Falcons back 15 yards. It stops the clock, although the clock will wind once they put the ball down. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hang on to some some glimmers of hope here. You know, again, and if I'm the Falcons, I'm I'm running clock right here. I'm just, you know, I'm taking my three yards. I'm taking my five yards. I'm 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 eating up clock. But not these guys. This is their game. Yeah, they're gunslingers. There's the handoff. Up the middle. A lot of room. Nice Davis hit. Davis brings him down. Big hit on the it's a gain of about three win. yards. But i got to tell you, I remember a couple yeah, of Falcon yeah, games, yeah, Ham Falcon yeah, games yeah, of years past, and, and they were 30 and 40 point Falcon victories using that passing offense. This has been a tight game right from the beginning. So here we are at the two minute warning. Two minute warning, Wilbraham ball, and they're on top of the Blue Devils, 20 to 14. Second down and 22 to go. Second and very long here for Wilbraham. But I have to say, I, I, I don't think this, the Falcons running isn't their strong point. Here they go to pass, little swing pass. Pass to the outside. Kesson comes up for the tackle, and nice I, job. Yeah, yeah. Passed out by Jared Levens. 34, Jasper Kesson. The receiver on that for number two. Don't be messing with Kesson on those little run plays. It's a good play. That's, that's no gain. And the Blue Devils take a timeout, stop the clock. I think each team gets about a billion timeouts sometimes. So no danger using them all. Brings up a third down. So if they stop them with a no gain here. They will get the ball back. They will have an opportunity. Just a reminder, folks. Late. Okay, Kids here we hungry. go. Hot dogs and hamburgers to go here at the food booth. Hot dogs and hamburgers on the fly. Quarterback in the shotgun again. He's looking to pass. Big Elijah Davis. Oh! Gets in his face. Oh, man. Number nine had their hands in on that. That's that, going to be a that, penalty on Northampton. And that's, that uh, might be an automatic Isaac. first down. That might be an automatic first I think, down. Let's I see. Think they're calling Davis for running the passer. And that's an automatic first down. Gonna go in favor of here. You know, somehow I think the ref got talked into that by the uh, Wilbraham by the Wilbraham coaching staff. They've been on the refs the whole time. Hamp has been playing lot. hard. I think the peer pressure. I think the pressure got to them. That's a tough call in that situation. It's, uh, that takes the game out of the kids' hands, puts it in the refs' hands. No, oh, that's the ball game. It's a tough call. I, I don't know if you can make that call at a late point in the game like this. You know, let 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 the kids win in and lose it, ref. There's motion again. 
And that play just really kind of took the air out of the stadium. Yeah, it, it, you know, it sure did. And what has been a terrific game, a game played by the kids, is ultimately... Ultimately, a, you know, a big time call. You know, I'm sure it was a close call. It's ultimately going to seal the fate of Northampton. Certainly the refs didn't lose this game. I think uh, this was as much, you know, we, we, made, we made some key mistakes. Wilbraham capitalized. That's ultimately going to be the storyline of this game. So late in the fourth quarter here, the Falcons take over on offense, run the ball up the middle. You know, these are, these, are, these are evenly matched teams. They really are. And I'm kind of hoping we get a chance to see them again, maybe for the, uh, in, in the finals. Uh, Ham certainly has the talent. Uh, this was one of those games that came down to who made the plays, who made the big plays, and who, who made the mistakes. And unfortunately, we made a couple of key mistakes at key times, a couple of big turnovers that uh, are going to be the difference. Bo Garbarini with the tackle on that last play. Brings up second and 14 for the Falcons. Coach, yeah. I guess we're in a timeout. Yeah, and the referee's explaining the penalty to the players who are baffled. Yeah, you, you got it, ref. You're a good teacher. I don't know what's going on. We got the coach on the field. Nobody really called timeout. All right, I guess we got everything all set here. Second and long now for Wolverham. Second down, Camp 15. going to hold them tight here. Shotgun formation. Quarterback takes the snap. It's a handoff to number 32. Looking to his right. Carry. Jared Levins made the tackling. initial hit. He's still on his feet. Grab the ball. And then they call it, call him down. A little bit of everybody in Hampton on that one. That's a loss of five on the play, and Blue Devils take a timeout. It's going to be third and long now. Greg Chevis did a great job out of his nose tackle position getting to the sidelines, and again, Levins has just been in on every tackle the whole time tonight. Third down, and let's call it 17. Third down, Wolverham. Third and long. Wilbraham in the shotgun formation. They take the snap. That Quarterback looking to pass. Throws the ball up. Just overthrows, overthrows number 32. Three, so that'll bring up fourth down. Receiver overthrew him on that. Brings up fourth down, Wilbraham now. A chance for him to get the ball back and get something moving. I don't here. know how much time's left, Rob, but it can't six. be very much at all. No, it can't be. And if I'm Wilbraham, I'm not putting anywhere near yeah. someone who can well, catch I mean, the ball. why risk a punt? Why yeah. risk a bad snap? Why risk a block yeah. here, right? I mean, why not just uh, sit on it? You know, I mean, a lot of bad things well, can you happen can't on a sit snap. On it. You're gonna have to. You're no, gonna have what to I'm saying it. is, why not just snap it and run a play up the middle? I mean, why why risk a bad snap? Why why risk a return? In the punt formation, punter gets the ball, way. kicks it. Picked up, Picked up by, by Fowler, Fowler looking for some room. Take it down at the 32. So Hamp will get at least at least Fowler one play on offense. Hey, you never know. You know, you get Davis on a swing pass or something, or you get you get uh, Jared Levins with his speed on the outside. Stranger things have happened in this game. I'm sure. Well, uh, I think, I'm sure Wilbraham's going to play a you know very deep safety here. Yeah, as you look at this, number 33 is going back real deep. He's an outstanding athlete, but so is Davis, and so is Fowler. Well, we got. So is Levins. Blue Devils have a chance. Trips formation to the left. Osberg in the shotgun. Davis next to him. Flag on the play. I think that's offside. He throws the ball up. It's caught it's by Levens. caught by Levens. Brought down, Brought down at the 38-yard line. Let's not get too excited as there is a penalty. Now, I'm guessing that's offsides because they let that play go. That is against the field. 12 men on the field for Wilbraham. Penalty goes against so Wilbraham. Northampton's going to decline that penalty. Yeah. The big turn of events here for Northampton. So we get another chance from closer, Rob. So now they're on the 40-yard line. Trips formation to the right. It's going to be uh, real important for the Blue Devil offensive line to just buy a little bit of time. Osberg was able to evade two uh, rushers in that last play. 
to launch it. Got a favorable tip. Referees are waiting to get everybody set. Not quite sure why we need music at this point. All right, trips trips right. Osberg in the shotgun. Channel next to him. Gets the signals, looking to pass. Evade. There's a pass down the field. He's got Davis. Davis. Oh! Just overthrew him. Oh! By Elijah Davis. That was a great throw by Osberg, just a little bit long. Yeah, that's about as far as uh, Ian Osberg can throw the ball. He threw it about 45 yards on that play, and I think that's maxed out for him. But you know what? That was almost a complete pass and a touchdown. Set Hamp up for second down now. So it's second down, but I don't know if the downs really matter at this point because they just got to get into the end zone. Of pressure by number 44 there for Wolverham. So now Osper's going to be up under center. Second he's got trips left, Northampton. and he's got Davis behind him in the backfield. Takes a snap, fades back, throws the ball. It's That's picked, picked off. off. I thought I saw a flag down. I don't know what that flag is. Davis oh. with Davis. the tackle Elijah at the Davis 50. Number 27 on the interception. There's a holding That's call against the Blue Devils. That penalty There's is going to be declined. First down for the Falcons. Yeah, it looks like Osberg rushed that throw a little bit. He got a lot of pressure, tried to do a quick hit. Unfortunately, threw it right into the paws of the uh, Falcon defender. After the turnover, the Falcons will take over at the 50-yard line. I have no idea how much time is left in the game. I'm hoping it's less than 30 seconds. Yeah, the coaches for Wilbraham are calling for the knee play, so there can't be very much time left at all. Quarterback takes the knee, and that's the game. Final score, Wilbraham 20, yeah. Northampton 14. That's a tough loss. That is a game that they could have won. That was a spirited game. That was a tough game. That is a brutal loss, but a heck of an effort by the Blue Devils. It wasn't for, and with the effort was there, the score wasn't. Just remind the food booth still Thank open. you, the everyone, for joining us. Our next Stop home game will be next Saturday. I'd like to thank all of NYFL volunteers. Final score here. Wilbraham Falcons 20, Northampton Blue Devils 14. This is Andrew like Shelfo, Andrew Rob Osberg. It's been a pleasure. See you next time. We'll see you next time.